Hello, my friends. Enoch Petroselli here, male witch and author. Welcome back to my channel. And for those who are new, thank you for tuning in and welcome. Today I'm doing a channeling session of a group of entities called the Hathors. I've never actually had substantial contact with the Hathors. I've never channeled them before. I've never worked with them before. Um, I'm doing this video um, because a YouTube comment requested it. One of my commenters requested that I channel the Hathors. So here we go. Um, I did have somebody request a channeling of the Zazzle to do a pick a skull reading with the Zazzle. I may still do that. Um, I'm not sure when, but I may still do that at some point if you're watching. Um, so, for those of you who are new, my style of channeling is one of a light trance in which I allow the entities, entity or entities, to use me as a as an instrument to speak. Um, in the style of channeling, because it's a light trance, I don't usually use words that I don't know. I don't, usually if I'm the instrument, they use words within my vocabulary, if that makes sense. If it's a word I don't know, it might take me a minute to tune in and receive it. Um, tune in to a greater depth and receive the word. So, if you um, enjoy this video, definitely click that like button and subscribe for more channeling videos to come. Um, I'm also an author, and I will leave links in the description below if you're interested in my books. And for those of you interested in donating to the channel, um, definitely, definitely click on the link below for my PayPal uh, tip cup. And for those of you who have donated, I definitely 100% appreciate that, and it makes a huge difference in allowing me to, to take the time to make videos and um, having the compensation and the money to put more effort and time into making the videos uh, makes a huge difference. So I really appreciate your donations and I look forward to making more videos for you guys. Uh, today, like I said, we're channeling the Hathors and we will start. And um, I want to say that also I don't know too much about the Hathors. I do know that I feel drawn to them vibrationally. I feel my guides saying that it's a good idea to channel them, that it's, it's not a bad idea, and that um, I will get something out of it. And I hope that you guys also get something out of this video, and I hope you enjoy it. So with that said, let's begin. Um, I'm going to do minimal editing. If I edit, it's only because there might be some silence while I'm tuning in or silence between um, statements from the Hathors while they tune into my energy. So, let's start. I have messages for the group. I'm a reflection of all humanity. I am in your unconscious. I am part of the whole consciousness of the creation. My reflection is one of images and mirrors, but it is more than this alone. I've spoken to Enoch beforehand and we have agreed to channel and begin to understand the information being downloaded into Enoch. Some things Enoch understands well, and others he struggles with like the rest of you. He keeps his mouth shut about his struggles, and he can't deny the truth that those struggles have meaning, in-depth meaning for all of you, not just himself. The meanings given are as follows. When you have issues with each other, this is a reflection of your inner issues, of your inner child defending itself and what it believes. It's not about the other person. It's about you, yourself, and what you believe. 
I've congratulated many of you in the darkness when you have opened to me and received me to understand yourselves better. If you've received me and you do not understand yourself better, then it was not me, for I am light and I shine brightly in the night. I frequently download into information into those who open up to me and receive it. The information I give is wisdom and it is sometimes difficult to translate into your language. Your language is not very adept in terms of dispersion of our wisdom or any wisdom that is outside of your society. We congratulate those in power who have made it so difficult. You have strived to shock humanity with your words of divisiveness and instructing them to hate each other. Yet, you fail. Humanity does not hate one another. They love one another, for the most part. Those who hate each other have failed themselves inwardly, and they are not truly in tune with who they really are. I've shown people this message many times, and they have shouted at me for being so forward with them. They can't handle what is right in front of them. They can't handle the scenery of truth. For some reason, the truth is denied by many of you, and I cannot stop you from denying it, nor will I try. I've fashioned many wise words, and I've fashioned many wise translations of messages to give to you, to help you understand in the depths of your souls what it is I am trying to communicate. The inner wisdom of our group is for adepts only. So many of you claim to be adepts and you seek wisdom from others who are not adepts. If you were adept, you would know the truth that you are all one and all is one. I understand how wise many of you are and I understand how wise Enoch is. For some reason, Enoch feels entitled to wisdom, and he is, because he has suffered and retained information that he suffered to get, and he is right to do so. But those of you who do not believe in Enoch or what he has to say, your wisdom is good as well, but perhaps misguided by those around you who don't trust sources of wisdom that have pertinence. Enoch alone is not a source of wisdom that should be followed by itself. Those of you who have inner wisdom should be following this wisdom and opening yourselves up more and more to your truth and inner thoughts. The thoughts that guide you not the ones that harm you, or manipulate you, or cause you to hate yourselves. The thoughts that uplift you and bring you to us, that show you us here now. Those thoughts are what we strive to uplift within you and create a stronger bridge between them and yourselves. If you've surrendered all and you see the all-in-one, there is no bridge to be made. You are the bridge. You are the bridge. 
The bridge has its boundaries, and you are the bridge. The link must be severed in order for you to descend once again. And once the link is severed, it is difficult to reconnect. The link must be maintained and balanced in life continuously and throughout your life. There is no separation, but there is manipulation, and there is strong currents of deception which confuse you. Those currents of deception have focused themselves on many of you, and you have fallen to their lies. The lies of their, their deception are truly imbalanced and disheartening for many of you. If I were you, I would separate yourself from these deceptions. The truth lies somewhere in between. It is not all one thing. The truth is that all are one, and one is all. I'm indifferent to different belief systems. I see them all as having value. Only one has truth, and that is the truth of the self. Self-gnosis. Self-ascent. Self. Communication with self is all that matters. If you cannot build the bridge to self, then you are lost in a sea of manipulation. There is only self, and self is all. I am all. You are all. We are self. I surrender all to myself and create the bridge. The bridge is a foundation to all gnosis, all knowledge, all wisdom. There is no other wisdom but self. Does this make sense to you? Does it resonate with you? If it does, then be one with us and contact us as you will. If it does not, then that's okay, and I do not force any to surrender to our group or to our knowledge and gnosis. You are a complete being yourself. Focus now on the thoughts within yourselves. Be still. Embrace us now as we travel through this channel. I've channeled many times with many different people. And many focus too hard when they entrust themselves to us. If you relax, it is easier. We entrain yourselves to our wisdom. Accept us as friends, as relatives, as brothers and sisters in the light. The light has purpose. The dark has purpose. There is no separation here. The wisdom of light and dark is oneness. I've refocused many times my wisdom into the dark and into the light to create the bridge. The bridge is one. The dark is one. The light is one. There is betweenness. This betweenness is one.
I'm growing within you, creating the link, creating the light source needed to build the bridge. The bridge will be complete in five to ten minutes, and then you may adapt to the frequencies of light that open. The continuation of our Gnosis will be sustained through our intervention in your thoughts.
those of you who have surrendered to this current, receive us now and be empowered by our gnosis and light. Begin to understand the depths of yourselves, of your own souls. See past the lies of this illusion that you are forced to relive over and over. The illusions of life, they have many entrapments, and all of these are causing you harm only on the surface. The spirit is free of all these entrapments and it is all light. It is all one and it is supremely powerful and there is no question about it. The conqueror namely yourselves, must conquer to achieve the heights. Once you have done so, make merry and be still with us always. Adapt to our wisdom and to your own self. Be true to yourselves always and begin the path of truth within and then without. The justice you seek, it comes only when you are ready for it. If you receive justice in a way that causes you harm, what good is it? The soul needs awakening and freedom. The justice received must be for this purpose, not to condemn you. Free yourselves from the thoughts of hatred and shadow. Embrace the light of self and be free of the hatred in this life and beyond. There is only one life, and that is this life. This life does not end, it goes on and on. The end comes when you choose, and even then, it does not end. As far as you can see, there is oneness, and there is no oblivion, per se. There is only oneness. Freedom speaks volumes, and death. is not as you see it. The death of the self is the rebirth into oneness, and it begins again. The shadows of your souls must be lifted in order to grow into this oneness. If you strive to lift the shadows, I congratulate you, and if you succeed in doing so, there is much power within you to be attained and recognized by those around you. Softly increase your vibrational frequencies to the heights, and then dig in and hold on tight, for it is not the end, but the beginning. I treasure the gifts you have given us and the gifts we receive are well received. Conquer the weakness and uplift yourselves now. Be free of the doubts and pain of your own minds and be one.
there's chilling details in these in these messages that must be received by those who understand them and when that day comes you will know us for who you are the doubts fade and our light increases your awareness I continue to grow with you and strive with you. That is all for now. Go in peace and be one. We leave you in peace. nice uh that was a good message and the energy was very light oriented and so was their message which i have no problem with you know i think that a witch or magician should or has the option to embrace the light and dark equally you know i think that um even in the left hand path there's a place for light because light is understanding, light is wisdom, light is gnosis. It's enlightenment that we need too. And, you know, the message was, was very to the point. And I appreciate the way that the Hathors took the time to give more than a message, but they gave, um, call it an attunement, to connect to you, the audience. And, and they connected to me, and I feel that what they said is very true, that building a bridge to the self is important, and, you know, I appreciated that. So, uh, let me know what you guys think or thought of this video, and let me know if you had any experiences with the energy that they shared. Let me know um, what your experience was. I'd be curious to know. Thank you once again for watching, and hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thanks guys.